All right, the first one is definitely gonna be the hardest one. I feel like this video is gonna be like 90% of the first one, and the other two ones are like 10%. I have never beaten the original spelling, which is a... Uh, I think it is a shame that I haven't played the original or like at all, meaning this one basically. I really don't know like the major differences between this one and the HD version, but yeah, this game feels like a lot different. Okay, the arrow traps are a lot more forgiving, or like the arrows go a lot slower, that definitely won't have hit me in the HD version. I feel like uh, I am pretty confident on this video, when if I can make it uh, spelling with HD, I am like uh, 50 or like 75% confident I can beat that game in first try, and I am honestly I am 100% confident that I can beat spelling with 2 in first try. I actually didn't record last level, but yeah, nothing really happened, I just ran past everything. This game feels pretty empty, and yeah, I just lost 4 HP, because I tried to jump over the snake, but his hitbox was very small. I feel like these levels are so empty, actually. We made it to jungle at least on our first run. And yeah. <laughs> Overall, this is like my second or third time actually playing the original game, aka this. I don't know honestly because I have been calling the HD version the original, because I always talk about spelling 2. I don't know do I benefit anything from doing this, but yeah. I have to press P to buy, but yeah sure. I feel like I'm gonna do absolutely crimeless run, at least I try to do at first, because I have no idea how insane the shopkeepers are on this game. I feel like forwarding punch is insanely useless, or like a forward whip. Also, I don't have auto sprint on, which feels pretty awkward. It feels a bit awkward, but I feel like we are gonna save lots of runes, because I don't have auto sprint on on the first one, because I feel like this guy goes like Formula 1 if I put auto sprint on. Oh, we have Tunnelman in the original. I am pretty sure I didn't see him in the last one, or I just ignored him completely. But yeah, basically what Tunnelman does, he unlocks shortcut for like, you can start instantly in the jungle basically. And yeah, I am a bit terrified of this setup here. I feel like I have to use bomb here, honestly I don't trust for a second to anyone. Also, I feel like at the beginning of the video I'm gonna tell quite a lot, and then uh, like at the end of this video I'm gonna be insane quiet because I'm tryharding because I've died like 10 million times. But I feel like uh, the original is gonna be like 90% of my deaths. Or more than 90% actually. Even though I definitely forgive myself if I die on the Spelling HD because I haven't played that game since Spelling 2 came out. I feel like the frogs are insanely awkward on this game, it feels like they are uh, levitating. And I, didn't, I had no idea that the game man can go up. The arrows are something else on this one. Sweet spider, can you help me? Can you? Okay. I feel like uh, facing backwards is a lot more reliable way. Also, I cannot, in <laughs> I cannot trigger the arrow traps, which is kind of fucked up. Okay, rock triggers the trap apparently. Also, I got uh, spike shoes. Also, I hate the fact that the bomb and the my fucking rope key is reversed. Also, is this dark level, because I can see pretty clearly. We have the key here at, for the first time, but I feel like I'm not gonna bother with this one. Or like I will use this if I see the chest. It is basically set up for the harder endings, but I feel like I'm just uh, very happy if I succeed or like complete this run. I'm gonna buy all the bombs though, honestly, because I feel like I don't do anything else with the money. It is pretty wild to think that this item is in the originals. I absolutely despise the frogs on this game, because they literally, I feel like, they go insanely slow on the air. Also we have Dead Are Restless level, which is also pretty cool that this is in the original. I thought this was added in the... HD. I have no idea, is there anything though for the Dead Are Restless level? We have the... Different idol that I'm not gonna take most likely. 
Also the yellow thing under my HP, I can basically see place called black market where I can buy stuff or just kill some shopkeepers and get some stuff. I feel like it's not gonna be relevant in this game, but it's gonna be relevant on the next two. I really don't want to fuck with the shopkeepers on this game, because they're just gonna grab me. I honestly hate everything about this at the moment. I have my first Kali Alter here, but I don't want to try to fuck with those cavemen, because I feel like their hitbox is so goddamn small. I honestly feel like I'm gonna bomb here. I don't trust those green things for a second, I got to be honest. Vines basically what I tried to say, but yeah, I feel like my commentary is gonna go like steadily down the longer I play this. I would be very happy to see the damsel, but yeah, we made it to ice caves. Dude, what was that? There was also that bouncy thing, that thing. I almost, I got a like slight heart attack from that. I don't want to fuck with the chatties because they were insta killing the original basically. So I'm not gonna try, and this is the original, I, I keep calling the HD version basically the original, you don't have to just bear with me. Apparently this statue is also a thing in the original, which is pretty wild to think about. Basically you need a thing called Ankh for that statue, and you need to kill yourself in that level, so you, that statue opens, you get the Ankh from the black market. I thought the mummy just uh, has no range to move for me, but apparently he just came. Also, I feel like my character can't throw bombs for shit. I see the damsel, but yeah. There is so good uh, many of you actually. That guy got only sort like pistol or something. Also, I have no idea called I have sold the idol to the shopkeeper. Also, gambling is in this game, which is pretty insane to think about also. I really don't want to try that, because I feel like I'm gonna trigger the shopkeeper by accident. I feel like the enemies are something else on this game. Dude, what are the frogs? I slipped. Dude, I need to get fucking shot, dude. I am sorry, but you have to take this. And, uh, okay, I thought she died because she didn't get the particle, but uh, it came late. Now she died, I think. No, she's fucking tanked, dude. I mean, I guess I will keep donating to you. I swear to God, the frogs are my least favorite enemy in this game. I did not even think about how annoying they can be, since I played originals and the two, I mean HD and the two. Because literally the frogs, I feel like they have their own gravity or something. That is a lot easier apparently in this game than in, in HD. I also feel like the boulder is pretty useless in this game, but yeah, our first snake pit level. Basically, you get quarantined pickaxe on snake pit level, that is the only good thing about these levels, honestly. I got so many boxes of ropes, which is kinda worrying, because I feel like uh, bombs are so much more important than ropes. That guy had compass, it is apparently in this game, which is pretty nice. It basically just shows you the location of the exit. I really need bombs at the moment, thank you. I would honestly trade all my ropes for like three bombs at the moment, since bombs are I literally just well overvalue bombs over ropes. I apparently got dead or restless again, and there's a vampire, which is a bit horrifying because I have no idea what that guy can do. Let's just run away from him. Also, I took damage from uh, some random camper skeleton, apparently. Those things are worth 8k. Okay, we got the shotgun again. This is gonna be at the hour, like this is actually pretty good. Right here, because I have to actually fight the enemies. 
Or like in the next level, I mean, the ice caves is still gonna be pretty easy. What? Also, apparently there is a generation where I have to use bombs in order to progress. I wonder is this it? Okay, you don't fuck with the shopkeeper. Apparently that Piranha Lake level isn't that bad actually, since the swimming is honestly even better than in a HD version. The frogs in the other hand are something else though, honestly they are made by Hitler. We made it to temple, and we got the quote unquote dark level, I kinda question the dark level since I can see pretty clearly here. What even was that? Oh we got spectacles well, that was useless. Bro, there is Kasuli yet back on that ground. I guess I will draw one shot and miss it. I feel like I'm not gonna try to fuck with the jetpack more, because I don't know do I benefit anything from that hand anymore at this point. And I really want to save bombs for Omlek honestly. There is way to the cold city, or like that cold thing right there. Dude, what are the how guys in this game? I guess this is the run where I do crime. I honestly have no idea what even damaged me right there, but yeah sure. I hate frogs man. It is so random that this game has a pistol, because this is not in the HD version. Okay, they apparently still give you the cape, as always. The cape actually feels pretty good. Okay, there is an item that I'm not gonna mess around with. That is an item that I'm not gonna take that in any spelling. We actually have Yeti level, or like it smells like a fat wet fur in here. Also we got the teleporter, yeah I'm not gonna mess around with that, this rune is gonna end instantly if I keep using that or take that, I mean. There's the Yeti King, and he looks like a stoner honestly in this game. <laughs> he looks pretty funny, I got to say. There's actually scepter, it apparently drops from the mummy, but yeah, I feel like Anubis wasn't a thing in this game. Okay, fuck, there goes my pistol. I wonder is it even worth giving her to Kali, honestly, I feel like I want to take the plus one HP. I got startled by that random arrow. We got cool shoes when we gave a life of an innocent person. Dude, the frogs are made by Satan, I got to be honest. Dude, no way he has priority over me on that scenario. Okay, hey, you already fucking know what it is. There was also vampire, which is a very good thing. This looked like a very mid run, but it honestly turned very great. I just had to deal with the shopkeepers for now on, but yeah, it should be fine. They honestly seemed pretty bad. He just took my fucking shotgun, dude. That frog was on a mission, dude. 
computer now looking at the world chain, I feel like I'm gonna take damage here. Or not, never mind, that look, like, look at like Satan room, honestly. I could fucking own it. I remember this easter egg. It's from Evil Dead. Which is a pretty decent movie, I got to be honest. I am sorry. I have to do this to you. I guess I'll just lose my shotgun right there. I really don't know do I dare to shoot with this thing, but yeah, YOLO. I didn't die, so that is success. How fucking bad is this weapon, dude? Yeah, I am taking the fucking shotgun instead of that. Okay, at least made it to Omelok. His movement actually feels horrible compared to the original or like the HD version. That feels so slow and awkward. Please, brother die, give in to death. Holy shit. It would have been pretty tragic if I didn't have one rope here, because I would not be able to beat the game. Please let me in, the omelette is dying. Holy shit. That was the slowest omelette I have ever done, but I beat the game, I really don't care. Also, I am very sorry if I didn't say anything during the omelette, I just focused my ass off. My Gen Z brain probably have never focused on anything else as hard. My final score was ass, but I will absolutely take it. You shall be remembered as a hero. Then I ride off into the sunset with my camel and my two homeless uh, cavemen. And then Spelungu HD, I haven't played this game for a quite a long time, also I feel like I could do dailies, but yeah, let's just go for normal run. Even through normals and dailies are kind of the same thing right here. 
Also, I cannot remember that all what characters were there. I always just used the robot, since he looked so off, honestly. He looked like a rapist. I genuinely cannot even remember what Tunnelman's character in Spelling 2. He is here at least. And yeah, we start off with the mines one. This is gonna be just fast level. I am gonna run past this since there is literally nothing I can get from here other than like box. So I could get like, I don't know, three bombs or something. There isn't much that you can get in mines one. And I can see from my movement that I haven't played this game in a long while. I have no idea why do I even collect money honestly in this game, since in this game honestly all my runes were crime runes. We are the shopkeepers instantly, but that should be fine since we got so many booms of that. Honestly the only thing I have to find from mines anymore is the Udiot Eye. Even though it is not necessary to get into the black market, but it just makes it a lot easier. Bro, the downtime was insane short apparently on the shopkeeper. I guess we just shoot there blindly. Okay. We actually have ghost coming up. We just take this. We get a cape apparently also. We could have farmed a little bit more money with that ghost, but I really don't care about money in this run, I got to be honest. There we have the key, which is gonna be relevant now. I can't wait to play Spelling 2 where the cape is actually toggle. I mean uh, hold when it's now toggle. It is kinda awkward more for me to use it because it is toggle. And now we have the Udias eye, so we basically have nothing in minds anymore for us. We can just have to get rid of that thing. Let's just run. The frogs are already so much more forgiving than in the original. I am 100% sure that the frog, that frog would have hit me if that was the original. The original frogs were something else though. And since this is a long run, we are definitely gonna bother with the Kali. We just have to not die to this guy. I have no idea how much does that uh, dead body give me a favor with Kali. It is not gonna be much honestly because it is a random enemy though. Let's not fuck around actually, I am gonna die to him. Or like I'm gonna find a way to choke it and die to him. Also I am pretty sure at the last level we had the worm level very briefly. I would like to go in there but I feel like uh, I can't go in there because I have to find the black market in the jungle. Or like I am not sure can the black market spawn into the worm level and basically the uh, pink fin on uh, that last level that we saw very briefly. Okay, I heard that the black market is here somewhere. I kinda hate the original black market though, because there is kinda no indication that it is in neural level, or like in Spelung 2 you can go to the fucking underground and see if it's there, or if something is there. Also, I just fucked up big time. But I didn't get punished. We kill all these guys, there's the Ankh, then we shoot this guy, get so much more bombs. I simply just did, did not have a jetpack here, or any, any movement item to be exact. Then we have Ice Caves, this is gonna be a lot easier than in the original event route, this was definitely the easiest level in the original, even through that Yeti tried to kill me. We had specialist shop without uh, like the good item, basically my fucking jetpack. It was pretty wild to think that I played through the entire or original game without getting a jetpack. And this seems to be the same thing actually.
Oh, I tried to commit to die with that bomb. Okay, watch this slam dunk, dude. Also, I guess the statue will be in 3-3. I feel like the thing what I'm trying to find is quarantined here. There it is, actually. Now we can do pretty much whatever we want. I feel like I'm gonna try to fuck around with Kali here, actually. We get this, and uh, honestly now I can just die. Except that guy died. Oh yeah, I, <laughs> I had parachute, I forgot completely. Well, it's gonna be slow and painful death. But basically that item that we got from Kali, we can hit enemies and we can collect their blood to get HP. And we got that uh, crown thing from that statue that allows us to go to Golden City. And we have to kill the um, Anubis guy in the next level, there's also the alien uh, space thing. In that alien thing we can uh, get a plasma gun, but I feel like I can't go there because I have to go to temple. Basically, in order to get the hard ending. If I am 100% honest, this run doesn't look very fantastic, other, other, or like other than the bombs. And there's a while when I played the original temple, or like Spelungu HD is the original temple. I feel like I can hit this guy a few times before I save him for his blood. Okay, I did one too many, I am sorry. I got a bit too excited. Okay, so don't talk about that. I honestly forgot completely how often the sideways traveling blocks can move in this game. I am high rolling this chest though. We also had pretty easy black market apparently. So this might be the run. I just want to give this to Kali before I go. I don't have a weapon on me at the moment which is a bit awkward, but it should be fine. We still don't have yet back in here, but we have fucked on of bombs. Yo man, can you die? Thank you. No, he didn't die. <laughs> Please. That guy is going ham on that slave. Okay, well that was fucking scary. Okay, I absolutely don't want this thing. Can you go away? I cannot even get all the bombs here, because I took so long to kill that uh, motherfucking guy. We actually have B level here. I'll pay for my crimes. We have another beehive. Which is a good thing honestly, even through stacking HP at this point isn't very useful since I have to die. This is kinda just gifted here honestly. Or it was gifted until I fucked it up. Bro, the fucking pickaxe I cannot hit. Oh god, dude, get me out. We just got another pickaxe, and honestly, 
I can't just want that the shotgun, even through pickaxes, definitely cool way to go as well. I kinda forgot though that it doesn't really matter what item do I have because I am gonna lose it anyways right here because I have to die. It is kinda weird that I didn't die there, but yeah. That shopkeeper hated me so much that he committed to die. And now my girl honestly is not to die for the first fucking side west traveling block. There is one actually. I am sorry but I have to do this to you. Okay, the Anubis was actually pretty hidden. That place is pretty cursed where he is. I have to use quite a lot of bombs for this guy. I have no idea why I'm hearing the shopkeeper music at the moment, but yeah, sure. And yeah, if it is possible for me to not shoot the scepter once, I am definitely gonna do that. We can now make it a cold city. We get the... We get Book of the Dead from here. Or like the Morella Nomicon, I, don't, I can't remember exactly what was it called. More Evil Dead stuff basically. Also I hate the fact that I don't have spike shoes on me at the moment. I guess there is nothing for me anymore. Here we meet Omlek again. But now with better graphics. I really want to check out the loot first. Do I get more bombs or something? I get three more bombs at least. We get few ropes. I am gonna start making a hole here because the Omlek has to die in a specific way in order for me to get to the last level, which is basically that door right there. And now we can go to hell. Even in hell I will pay for my crimes, but I feel like I am paying for my crimes when I'm at hell. I kinda have nothing going for me in this run, I got to be honest. Here we have last layer, which is pretty useless place in the original because it is so goddamn late. There we have most likely mimic, that can be actual dumb cell, but it can be also mimic. Also, I genuinely hate the fact that I don't have the spike shoes. We can kill Vlad with that ticket trap. I have no idea where did he go to, so I guess he can leave. At least I got Vlad's amulet, which basically grants me immunity to fire or like lava in this case. I kinda wish though that I would have gotten Vlad's cape because it is a pretty de decent item. I can do damage now though. There it is actually. I am definitely gonna get it. I feel like this is kinda the same as in Spelong 2, but uh, yeah, you get it so late, it is not worth item, honestly. Or like, uh, you very rarely use this because you always have jetpack at this point of the game. I swear to god if I die the shopkeeper in hell. We now get our second Kali altar, which is pretty tragic. Yeah, 
It would have been nice to have the Kapala on this run, but we, get, we just lost it or like we didn't get it, I mean. And here we have Yama. I don't know, is Yama like a good way of say, saying Satan or like a nice way of saying Satan? We kill his underlings and then we just start climbing to the top. Also, I am sorry if you can hear some uh, sounds outside. There is like, uh, I don't know, 10 million cars outside of my window. Oh fuck. And that is that was insane scuffed fight, but we made it. Okay, I played another save file just so I can enter this door. I can't believe I died to that. It was such an anticlimax. In Spelungu 1 or like the original Spelungu we got some uh, golden statue, but here we have this Asian guy and we are gonna take that Asian guy with us. And like in the original, we ride off with our camel, and uh, now we have the random Asian dude who is gonna be our friend. And then Spelungu 2, this is easily my most played Spelungu, and I feel like I am not alone on that statement. Honestly, I feel like I started playing the original Spelungu more also when Spelungu 2 came out, when I realized that yeah, it's not that bad. Even though it felt kinda horrible to go back to the first one after playing Spelungu 2 because Spelungu 2 is 144 FPS and uh, HD is 60 FPS. We are gonna buy those shoes. They are basically the spring shoes of this game, or now they actually look like spring shoes. There is pretty favorable Kali altar. Let's see, do I kill the cat here accidentally? No. We get spectacles, which is pretty useless. I honestly can't count the Kali favor at all anymore. Let's use this rope so we can get the key. You need this key to get the Udiat Eye, as always. Udiat Eye is still like uh, part of the longer main quest or like a longer ending of this game. In this game basically you can find the black market as always, or you can uh, activate the drill in uh, the... I can't remember Vulcana I think was the place's name. I was trying to see was there the cursed boat. I would have definitely cursed myself if there was a cursed boat, but yeah, I didn't see it. Even though I am 100% certain that the cursed boat spawns on every level, I just didn't see it on the last level. But yeah, there's an angle also for that. We get Kapala now, which is insanely fast Kapala actually, in one tree. It's pretty huge. I kinda look a little bit for the cursed pot, but it's not that important anymore because I got the Kapala. I can't have gotten like bombs and ropes with that, but yeah, I really don't bother. We get the skeleton key like that. I am at the moment trying to get rid of Killback, but he's gonna fucking around here. Let's move Killback to the other side. I feel like I'm still gonna do the course run here because I'm a greedy shit. Or like course myself like momentarily. Do I have an angle here? Yes I do. I kinda have to be beat fast here, but this should be fine. Okay, that was very close that I didn't hit the big ghost. I didn't get a good backpack item anyway, so it doesn't really matter that I lost it. It was the bomb back basically. We got the plasma gun, and honestly I feel like I'm just gonna fuck my run here with the plasma gun, but yeah. In 2-1 we basically try to find a locked door, because there's an NPC that we have to talk to, or like we don't have to talk to, but it helps us. 
We have the skeleton key, so we not have to find the key. Basically, we meet this guy. He is a vampire hunter that has been locked up in there. And yeah, there is nothing else for us. We use the wood high here. My drill looks pretty coarse. There's quite a lot of lava in there, apparently. I like the fact that I can just weep lava, but yeah, sure. I guess I will just go for this. Then we have Lars Castle. He is a little bit earlier in this game, but yeah, it is pretty cool thing because Vlad was pretty useless character in the original. Or like he might as well go drop in on an asterisk, honestly. Here we have the usual vampires. I don't gain any HP at the moment because I'm still cursed. Which is basically the downside of being cursed that you are on one HP and you cannot gain HP. We get the crown that is needed for ending later on. We also get the Vladscape which is pretty good uh, like a uh, movement item. Also there we saw the vampire hunter very briefly. He basically just uh, wanted to kill Vlad. He is quite the homeboy. We are gonna pay to this uh, I don't know person to take her challenge. Basically the only reason why people come to this challenge is that uh, there is a red bow hidden somewhere. You basically are given free pickaxe, so you can get to the red bow and then you basically just have to break the pickaxe or just to do something. We at least had few boxes. I'm missing one box. Oh well. We get few bombs. This was actually a pretty good challenge. But yeah, here we get this red bow, which is also needed for ending later on. Unfortunately, if we want to take this bow, we have to sack our plasma gun, which is fine trade, because plasma gun is pretty risky. I am still cursed though. I am not really huge fan of being still cursed at the moment, but yeah, it is fine. Also, I shot the bot accidentally. And here we meet Omlek already, also. If I am 100% honest, uh, I'm like looking better in the HD version than this. But yeah, now that we have the bombs, we are gonna do a few things. We are gonna put bomb right there. Then I am gonna probably fuck this up. Okay, that is way too... Way too right, actually, but yeah. We are gonna put these bombs like this. So we can skip the Omlek fight, basically. Then there is a friendly NPC on that grass block. We are gonna meet him as well. We are gonna give our bomb to, bow to him, he basically just carries the bow to like later levels, I don't need to carry it myself. Then we just need the omelette here. I, I accidentally dropped my cape, but yeah, we just keep the omelette fight like this. We get the ankh from here. There is basically three stages of Omlek, but only one is necessary, which is basically this one, which is pretty easy. Also, I feel like I could go for Duat run here. It doesn't really matter, honestly, do you go for Duat or Tide Pool. Duat is definitely a lot harder than the Tide Pool. Except we don't have stickies. I don't have sticky bombs actually, so let's go for a tide pool actually, then <laughs> I am uh, too much of a pussy to go to my fucking duat without bombs, I mean stickies. We basically now miss temple, but yeah, happens. We have a tusk here, we can gamble with her. You can get some uh, decent prizes, but you can also get nothing. Also, this is fucking evil. Do I have to take this? No, no, I absolutely have to take this. Oh well. I swear the card that item is gonna be the death of me at some point. 
But yeah, basically not going for duo run is that we miss on guaranteed yet back, which is uh, not guaranteed for me whatsoever if I don't have stickies. We have one more prize here, which is Mercedes, uh, which is completely useless, but yeah, I just want to gamble because uh, now we can go to her palace and get free HP from there. Now at 4 2 we have nothing else to do other than to get this word, you need the crown to get this word, Excalibur basically, which is the record for the hard ending. Or not required honestly if you are just good enough at the game, but yeah I am not gonna try that. Now at 4 3 basically we just want to kill ourselves here, as edgy as that sounds. We want to find this small location here and go in. Here we meet actually Vlad for the last one last time. Or not Vlad the Vampire Hunter. But yeah that is basically one way door and we just push this statue and die. And we finally get here rid of our course. We can start gaining HP. And now that the lava is not there anymore, we have this secret door, or quote unquote secret door. What we are gonna do here, we are gonna start hitting this guy. I have no idea who is this guy, but yeah, we are just gonna go and kill him. I feel like you can go here, other, or like you can go here, but you cannot damage that guy without the Excalibur. And yeah, he basically drops the item called uh, Tablet of Destiny, basically Smiling Jade and I are the keywords, which are random on, over, on every run. And yeah, we can leave the Excalibur here. And I have angered Kali my bird, I just entered the level dude. I can start serving the dead yetis to Kali. Please Kali take me back, it wasn't my fault. Here we have ice caves now though, it is very short level on the spell only two, it is, it is only one level. Bit longer level though, but yeah it is pretty short still. You kinda just drop down. I have kinda nothing to gain from there, so I'm just gonna speedrun it. And now we have Neo Babylon, which is arguably my favorite levels of the game. Also yeah, one plus side of uh, having a bloodscape is that you get more blood from the enemies, which is very nice. And in 6-2 you have this door that is randomly generated somewhere, and uh, you have to go in there. There is lots of these totems, and the table tablet that you go to, it basically tells you that what you have to pick. Or which one. There's quite a lot of them though. We had Smiling Shade Eye, which is this one basically we had pretty easy one to remember. When this game came out it was honestly one of the hardest things to figure out which totem you had to pick. Then we just leave this place. And in the next level this thing showed hats the Gillin. He is basically an NPC that helps you move to the next level. And basically if he dies you cannot get the hard ending. We can also visit Madame Tusk here very briefly. Get this box. There was actually bombs, holy shit. We get HP. Also down here there is quarantine Kali altar. And there is quite a lot of money but yeah I really don't need money at the moment. Let me just grab the bombs and I am on my way. I made my road quite safe because I really don't want my guild to just die for something stupid. Like that. And now we have 6-4 and here we have... Uh, I don't even rem remember Tiamat I think. Which he is kinda the first boss or like she is. But we are just gonna completely skip her. And yeah, we, not, we don't need Gillian anymore for any, anything, we can just throw him away. Here we have Omlek, who is Rocket now. Mm, 
We just go in the moon casually. And it is very how quite a lot of things that you need to do. We are gonna take this challenge first off. In this challenge you basically just have to survive. Also I don't I still don't have stickies, which is a bit worrying. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go in here and just uh, press X and hope. Okay, that was relatively clean. But yeah, doing this challenge, you get this holy arrow, which is required for the like, uh, true ending. We also get that bag, which contains lots of bombs and ropes. Also, I thought I would see Wadler here. We have this guy apparently because I broke the Kali altar or I broke basically Ufo just nuked it. And I got blamed for it. I thought there would be the Wadler guy, basically the green guy who moves the items to, from place to place. Okay, there he is actually. He gives me the bow. And yeah, now that you are now used to me, I'm gonna get rid of you. He gives you a guaranteed compass. I am sorry. And yeah, I have nothing else to do, so I might as well get a little bit more HP. This was always so stressful, honestly, because if this bow breaks, you cannot get the ending. Or like you cannot enter the last place, which is Cosmic Ocean, what I'm not gonna do here because I don't have time. First of all, I actually want this video to come out someday, and uh, I kind of feel like I'm at the like, uh, brink of having a heat stroke. There's basically 5 Celsius in Finland, which is insanely warm. Or like way too warm for me, I could be honest. I am honestly happy that if I can beat the hard ending at least, or like get the hard ending with climbing clothes, I feel like my cosmic ocean run died when I got the climbing clothes accidentally. Also yeah, these are the frogs that I'm used to, and that's why the frogs were insanely hard for me in the original, because I feel like they move so differently. And then we have the final boss of Spelung Hundun, or like Spelung 2 at least. This is so cursed actually, but yeah, here we have the final area. And I have actually no idea how the fuck do I kill this thing, because I don't have spike shoes or anything. That was so goddamn close. Apparently we just tag team that guy. Fuck him, you know. I am so bad at timing bombs nowadays. And yeah, now that I have the bow and the holy arrow, we can shoot him in the eye and get that. That is basically the last place of this game, and there's 99 levels of that. But uh, because I feel like I'm about to pass out at any time, I'm just gonna pick the hard ending. I'm gonna pick the blue bill and just leave. Go back home. They passed me, picked, picked us up. And then we drop down, we don't actually leave with our camel, we just go back to our friends. This journal is definitely one of the better things that they added in Spelong 2, but yeah, here you can see all like what happened in your rune. And yeah, that is the Spelong 3 logic. 